As you know, we've talked about uh, the West Australian heritage laws on this program many times. I've spoken to Tony Seabrook, uh, the president of the WA Pastoralist and Graziers Association, uh, very angry, as are farmers and, and ordinary WA citizens, with what the government had proposed. Over the weekend, it said it would scrap these laws, there'd be no more. Well, today came the announcement. What they said they would do and what's going to happen on the ground for farmers we're not so sure it marries up. Joining me now, the Liberal leader in WA, Libby Metton, for some answers. Uh, Libby, I listened very carefully to the new Premier today. He said he's going to scrap the laws that WA people say they will not accept, these laws that erode private property rights, particularly for farmers. But he then said he's going to put a whole lot of other legislation back in and make some amendments there to do what he was trying to do in the laws he's now going to scrap. Are you confident that private property rights in WA will now be reinstated? Uh, Peter, no, we're not confident about what this government will be implementing uh, and we are yet to see the detail of what will actually change. We certainly welcome uh, the government's move to repeal the Labor's Cultural Heritage Act, uh, but in terms of what will be in place, we are yet to see the detail. There will be a briefing later tonight and uh, we will that will give us a, a better understanding of what the new laws will actually represent. I think one of the things that, uh, you know, people around the country have been concerned about um, is that these laws didn't get much coverage in the media at the time. There was a, a, apparently very little debate and it's only when they were being brought in at the 11th hour did people really understand what they would do, particularly to farming communities in WA. That's a very fair point, Peter. Uh, and the Premier's first response when we raised issues about these regulations and, and the laws when they came into effect was he, he compared the opposition uh, to dogs returning to our vomit. We were accused of being racists and accused of dog whistling. Uh, it's, it's been extraordinary scenes in, in Parliament today where the, the Premier has now done a, a complete turnaround. But he stated that uh, the farmers had nothing to worry about uh, and that we were apparently being uh, racist. Quite clearly, this has been about the overreach on private property rights and the shambles with this legislation goes way back to 2021 when an extraordinarily popular mm. Premier in Mark McGowan used his emergency powers to ram these laws through Parliament and guillotine debate. Libby, some people say that Anthony Albanese put pressure on the Cook government to scrap these laws because his voice is really struggling, particularly in WA. Uh, we won't know if that's true, you and I, but do you think now scrapping the laws is going to resuscitate uh, the yes vote in your state? I'm not sure it will. Uh, we do believe that uh, Albanese and the Labor federal government have lent on the Cook government. It's quite clear it's had a significant impact on the support for the, vest, the yes uh, vote here in, in WA. Libby Metham, thank you for your time and we'll watch closely what happens when we do see those laws. Thank you again.